Hey all, welcome back to the Fire and Water Cooking Channel. I am Darren, of course, and today you always heard about that commercial, is it delivery or DiGiorno? Well today, we're gonna make pizza at home. We're gonna do it the easy way. We're gonna use the Kamado Joe Dojo pizza accessory. And we're also gonna do one on the Rock Box from the Gonzi gas-fired pizza oven. So we're gonna do it two different ways, see which one's better. One's wood-fired, one's gonna be using gas. And I'll just go over the basics of each one, and I'll be right back. Smoking, grilling, getting hot and hotter, sous vide and chilling from fire and water. All right, guys, like I said, we're going to do uh, some homemade pizzas. I'm not making my own dough, though, so... Um, I know there's a lot of people that like to make their own dough. It, you know, it can be fairly easy, it can be fairly complicated. I went ahead and I bought some frozen dough from a restaurant supply, and it's ones that um, usually a lot of restaurants actually buy it. It's made up in, in New York, so it's New York style pizza dough. It's pretty good, we've used it before. I had a, a party last weekend, we had eight of them, and they work really well. And I got the smaller, um, sorry, big, tractor went by. Um, I used the smaller size, so about a 12 inch pizza, a little bit less than that uh, size, uh, because that's what about fits in the rock box here. And I'm going to kind of touch on both of these cookers. The Kamado Joe Classic 2 I have has the Dojo pizza accessory, and that's going to be wood fired, of course, charcoal. I'm not going to put any real uh, smoking wood in there, because we're going to cook really hot, so any kind of smoke we get from the wood is really not going to affect the taste of the pizza too much. The rock box, I have both the wood setup and the gas setup for this. I tried using the wood setup for it last week and was not very impressed with it. It's uh, very small and you have to use really small pieces of wood and they burn really quick so you're constantly feeding it. And it takes a lot longer for that to heat up using the wood than if I use the gas setup. So I'm not gonna bother using the wood on the Gonzi uh, rock box. We're just gonna use gas because I found out last week, once that thing gets going, you can knock out pizzas within four minutes each other, back to back. You stick it in there, turn it a couple times, and it's done. Now the dojo is gonna take a little bit longer to heat up, so I'm gonna get the fire started on that. We're gonna wait for that to get up. I'm gonna use my infrared uh, thermometer to gauge the temperature of the stone, because that's really what we wanna pay attention to, the temperature of the stone. Make sure it gets up to you know, over 500 degrees before we put our pizza in there. This is gonna get up the temperature really quick using the gas, so I'm gonna wait about uh, 10 or 15 minutes for the uh, dojo and the Kamado Joe to get up the temp before I put the uh, start the fire in the rock box. Like I said, the doughs are already ready, they're proofing out there, so I'm gonna throw those out here, put some uh, toppings on them, and then we're gonna toss them in and see how quick they can cook. All right, I'll be back in a little bit. All right, guys, so first of all, I just need to get my fire started. I took my dojo off of the Kamado Joe. I've got my bottom vent opened up all the way. I'm gonna use my grill gun to get the charcoal going. It's only gonna take me about maybe three or four minutes. All right, guys, so I got that going enough. I'm gonna leave my um, bottom vent open all the way until my uh, temperature gets up to where I want it to be. So all I need to do now is take my dojo that has my um, has my heat deflectors underneath the pizza stone and the pizza stone on top. So I got two layers of uh, stone there. So all I have to do is close this down. I'm leaving the top vent on the uh, Kamado Joe closed all the way. We're not gonna be using that because we got this gaping hole here where the pizza, the dojo uh, is. This locks into place here. And then we got our bottom vent all the way open. Once we get up to temperature, you know, like I said, once our stone gets up to like 450 degrees or so, 
I'm going to tap that back down to about halfway open on the bottom vent so we can keep this right around the six, 700 range. So, all right, guys, I'll be back when this gets up the temp. All right, guys, it's been about 30 minutes. I'm going to go ahead and see how hot my stone is. And it's telling me it's about 450, 460 degrees. So I'm going to go ahead and get my rock box fired up. Hopefully. Yeah, there's some spots in here that are over 500. But mostly in the middle, it's right around 460. So I'm going to go ahead go over here to the rock box. And show you how I'm going to get that set up. I got my gas for this underneath. So I'm going to go ahead, turn my gas on underneath here from the cylinder. I'm going to go ahead and turn this on. All right, I'm going to put it about halfway or so, or maybe just a little bit more towards the top. Not all the way, maybe about two thirds of a turn to get this thing heated up. Because like I said, this heats up pretty quick. And I'll show you, I'll scroll you down here so you can see inside. The fire's going. So that's going pretty good. And then we got our thermometer here on the left side that's right there by the stone. So it's going to tell me how hot that stone gets. So we're going to wait till the stone gets definitely up to 600 plus degrees before we put our pizza on. So, all right guys, should take about uh, 15 minutes or so and we'll be ready to cook. All right guys, I'm going to go ahead and sanitize my prep area one more time here. I already did it once, but just to make sure I'm going to go ahead and sanitize that and dry it off. All right, I'm going to put some flour down and we're going to bring our dough out and we're going to put our pizzas together. All right guys, here's my setup. Got my two doughs here. Um, they got a little olive oil on there. I didn't want them to hit, get any kind of skin on them. So we're gonna go ahead and just start moving these out, getting them set up, stretching them out a little bit. Um, you can stretch them out any way you want. You can use a rolling pin. I, I tend to try to stretch these out with my hands first. And if I have to, depending on what kind of dough it is, you know, if it's store-bought dough or what have you sometimes it can be a little bit more testy than others just make sure you have enough flour down so it doesn't stick to your surface especially if your dough is a little wet just put a little bit more on there if you want here so I think both of my cookers are already up to temp so I'm gonna do little red sauce on both of these not a ton I'm just gonna put just enough on here for to cover it give me a little edge right up to the edge there just one you can use any kind of sauce you want you can do white pizzas you can do pesto you just do olive oil don't do any sauce at all if you want. Just want to just do cheese, you can. No rules in this one when you're doing them yourself. Alright guys, I'll be back in a second and we're going to put these on the uh, on the peel and stick them in the oven. I'll be right back. Alright guys, I already got my first pizza in, but I'm going to go ahead and show you how to get this on there. And Make sure you kind of pull this onto your peel. Make sure it doesn't stick to your table. Put a little bit more flour down. Put a little flour on your peel. And kind of pull it on here. Stretch it out. Reshape it if you have to. 
move your uh, toppings back around. But make sure you give this a shake. If it starts to stick down, just kind of put a little bit more flour down there where it's sticking and just shake it again. And you can always stretch it back out before you're ready to put it in. All right, let's go here. Show you how I'm going to put this in. All right. Straighten this out again. We'll put it right towards the back. Slide it off. I'm going to go back over here to my Kamado Joe. Make sure this one's not burning. Look at that. I want to twist it around. Starting to get some good color to it. Put that back in for a couple minutes. And you're going to want to do the same thing over here, guys. Let me go down so you guys can see how this is cooking in here. See it's starting to cook towards the back. I want to go in and spin this around about a quarter turn and put it back in. Let it cook some more. We're going to do the same thing over here. I'm going to come out of Joe. I'm going to spin it around. Put it back in. Come back over here. Take this out. Spin it around about a quarter turn. Put it back in. And if you can see that, guys, that's cooking really, really fast. Going to do the same thing over and to come out of Joe. Spin it around again, another quarter turn. Another quarter turn. And after this, we'll be done. So it doesn't take long at all, guys. You see that? Our pizza's done. Check that out. Awesome. I'm going to go ahead and put this down. I'm going to take the one out of, come out of Joe here. Check that out. I think this one can probably use a little bit more, so I'm going to go ahead and put it in here for a couple seconds and turn it. Won't take too long in there. I think the rock box gets a little bit hotter than the Kamado Joe. And this is what was happening to me the other night. I was actually using the Kamado Joe as like a pre-cook. <laughs> And then I'll finish them off here in the rock box. And as you can tell, guys, that cooks them super, super fast. You could bang out, you know, eight or ten pizzas in under 20 minutes. And there you go. There's another one. Check it out. There you go guys, two nice looking pizzas, there's mine with the uh, onions on it and the mushrooms, there's the cheese, cooked in probably under seven minutes for each one of these, so check it out, check out the uh, Kamado Joe Dojo for your Kamado Joe if you have one, check out the Rock Box, it makes perfect pizzas in a matter of minutes. Alright guys, I'm going to go ahead and cut these up. And I'll see you guys on the next video.